Welcome back to our channel. Today we will introduce clinically used skin allergy test. Allergies, also known as allergic diseases, refer to a number of conditions caused by the hypersensitivity of the immune system to typically harmless substances in the environment. These diseases include hay fever, food allergies, atopic dermatitis, allergic asthma, and anaphylaxis. Symptoms may include red eyes, an itchy rash, sneezing, coughing, a running nose, shortness of breath, or swelling. Note that food intolerances and food poisoning are separate conditions. Allergies are common. In the developed world, about 20% of people are affected by allergic rhinitis, about 6% of people have at least one food allergy, and about 20% have or have had atopic dermatitis at some point in time. Depending on the country, about 1-18% to of people have asthma. Anaphylaxis occurs in between 0.05-2% to of people. Rates of many allergic diseases appear to be increasing. Every time you walk into your backyard, you start sneezing, sniffling, and feeling like you want to go back indoors. You're pretty sure you have an allergy, but what are you allergic to? Pollen? Grass? Your neighbor's golden retriever? The only way to know for sure what's making you sneeze is to have allergy tests at your doctor's office. Let's talk about allergy testing. Your doctor may do one or more of several different types of allergy tests to see what's causing your allergies. One is a skin test. It can diagnose allergies to things like mold, pollen, animal fur, insect stings, and foods. With a skin test, your doctor will place a small amount of one substance or several different substances just under the surface of the skin on your arm or back. You'll feel a little prick when the substances are placed under your skin. After 15 minutes or so, the doctor will look for signs that you're having a reaction. Usually your skin will get red or swollen if you're allergic to something in the test. Another way to test for allergies is to put a patch of the substance on your skin and leave it there for about two days, checking the area every day for any sign of reaction. You may have a blood test. A blood test measures the amount of substances called antibodies that your body produces in response to a certain allergen. If you're allergic to food, you can try avoiding whatever foods you think might be making you sick. This is called elimination testing. Then, you add back in each of the foods, one at a time, and look for signs of an allergic reaction. Your doctor may also try to trigger an allergic reaction in the office by having you eat the food or breathe in the substance you think causes your allergies. This is called a challenge test. The one risk to this test is that if you're severely allergic, you could have a very serious reaction. Your doctor will watch you very closely during this test to make sure you're safe. There are three common methods of allergy skin testing. The skin prick test involves placing a small amount of substances and allergens that may be causing your symptoms on the skin, most often on the forearm, upper arm, or back. The skin is then pricked so the allergen goes under the skin's surface. The healthcare provider closely watches the skin for swelling and redness or other signs of a reaction. Results are usually seen within 15 to 20 minutes. Several allergens can be tested at the same time. The intradermal skin test involves injecting a small amount of allergen into the skin. The provider then watches for a reaction at the site. The test is more likely to be used to find out if you're allergic to bee venom or penicillin. Or it may be used if the skin prick test was negative and the provider still thinks you're allergic to the allergen. Patch testing is a method to diagnose the cause of skin reactions that occur after the substance touches the skin. Possible allergens are taped to the skin for 48 hours. The provider will look at the area in 72 to 96 hours. There are no major preparations required for skin testing. At the first consult, the subject's medical history is obtained and physical examination is performed. All patients should bring a list of their medications because some may interfere with the testing. Other medications may increase the chance of a severe allergic reaction. Medications that commonly interfere with skin testing include the following. Histamine antagonists like Allegra, Claritin, Benadryl, and Zyrtec. Antidepressants like amitriptyline and doxepin. 
and antacids like Tagamet or Zantac. Patients who undergo skin testing should know that anaphylaxis can occur any time, so if any of the following symptoms are experienced, a physician's consultation is recommended immediately. Low-grade fever, lightheadedness or dizziness, wheezing or shortness of breath, extensive skin rash, swelling of the face, lips, or mouth, or difficulty swallowing or speaking. Thank you for watching.